Ezrat Hashem, the covered Shabbos Kodesh, the covered Purim, the covered the new Tfilot. I don't know if we could see. Um, wow, there's too much light going on in these Tfilot that we can't even see the cover. Oh, you guys got we got glimpses of the light. Amazing. So it's Tfilot B'shem Kol Yisrael for Pesach Reuven Ben Yosef Asar Brachabas Yehudis. Yonah Bas Basa, Shir Bas Basa, Son of Ruben with money, Tupa Bas Peril, Svi Ben Chana, Shal Ben Chana Lea, Rivka Bas Rezel, and Eloi Nishma Yudi Bracha Bas Nechemia, Mary Nishama, and I have an Aliyah. Chevra using the new edition of the 50th gate, Lukute Tfilot. We have to start at one. We have to start at Aleph, the secret that Isaac uh, revealed to us today. That we gotta always um, start Aleph. Why does the Gemara start with uh, Daf Bet? Mamish. It just shows that we're at the beginning. Right? That's why uh, there's no Daf Aleph. Gavalts. We're, so, we're always at the beginning. Amazing. So Hashem, our God and God of our fathers, help us be able to study, teach, and practice your holy Torah for its own sake at all times and keep the Torah at the forefront of our minds day and night. Through the merit and power of Torah study, give us the strength to conquer and break our evil inclination and drive it out of ourselves. Help us rid ourselves of the foolish spirit that has taken hold of us because of the wrong we have done. We'll be able to get free by studying and keeping the Torah, which is entirely made up of your holy names. The power of the Torah will overcome any sway this foolishness may have over us. Just help us drive it out and remove it from ourselves and our lives. Please, Hashem, you know the many thoughts that trouble us every single moment of the day and distract us from serving you properly. They're all caused by the full spirit that has taken hold of us because of the wrong we have done and all of our sins and transgressions, our minds in turmoil, and our good sense and intelligence have been severely impaired. Father in heaven, you are good to all and merciful to all your, all your creatures. Forgive us and save us from destruction. Loving God, help us, help us, help give us strength to conquer our own foolishness and drive it out of ourselves by studying and practicing your holy Torah. Chavra, Kutei Tefillah, the 50th gate, on sale. We're doing marketing here. 350 shekel um, on the website. And honestly, it's it's priceless. It's, it's mamish, mamish, priceless. Um, beautiful, beautiful farm. Um, and really just a, just a chariot for us to really speak to God in our own words. Um, unbelievable stuff from Nassim. So we're moving on to chapter three, mission two. We're going to start up with the Halakos Bezrat Hashem on Sunday. Um this is a long one. We're going to focus on one idea within this Mishnah uh, for the sake of time. Bar Hashem. Rabbi Hanina Sigan Akwanim Omer. He said, pray for the welfare. He was a deputy uh, Kohen Gadol. He said, pray for the welfare of the government because it's not for the fear of the ruling authorities. People would swallow each other alive. Rabbi Hanania bin Tardian. Is that how you pronounce the name? Uh, then Teradion, Teradion, when two sit together without sharing words of Torah, this is a seat of scoffers. 
Chaver, we'll say that again. It's one of the biggest lines in all of Mishnah. When two sit together without sharing words of Torah, this is a seed of scoffers, as it is written in uh, in Tehillim. And in a seat of scoffers, he did not sit. But when two sit together, referring to the Shekhinah, when, when, two, when, when two sit together and speak words of Torah, the divine presence dwells in their midst, as it is written. And those who feared God spoke with one another, and God listened and heard, and a book of remembrance was written before him. And for those who revered God and med, med, uh, meditated upon his name. This is in uh, <clears throat> Malachi. From the above, I believe for that this applies to two people. How do we know that even if one person sits and occupies himself with Torah, the Holy One, blessed be He, sits aside a reward for that one? Because it is written in Lamentations, let him sit alone and keep silent, for he is repaid for it. Amazing. So now we have um, uh, this idea from two people sitting together for the Mishnah, right? When two people sit together and we speak words of Torah, the divine presence is there with them. Right, so within their midst, dwells within their midst. And the opposite, when two people sit together and there's no words of Torah spoken between them, the divine presence is not with them, seemingly. Because um, it says in, in Tehillim, in a seat of scoffers, he did not sit. It's a seat of scoffers. So what do we see here? The Ikar Tosos Yom Tov. I'm Pirkei Avot. Right, we saw this in Safaria, right? This is the opposite of the scoffers, the, the, the seed of scoffers that we wrote about. That, however, as the scoffers, uh, wait, let's just read this. The opposite of the scoffers, as the latter, are the group that do not see the face of the divine presence. However, these are the opposite. As the scoffers, even in their death, the divine presence distances itself from them, all the more so during their lives. And these, even during their lives, the divine presence dwells with them, all the more so in their death. This is the Midrash Shmuel, Chevra, Mamash, speaking words of Torah when we're with each other is the most important thing. Josh Hyman last night or two nights ago, two nights ago, spoke about the importance of learning Torah, but then sharing Torah. I think we've lifted Lichtenstein. Um we we uh we mentioned this a couple months ago. He says we should take 10% of our days. To teach Torah to others. If we know Aleph, then share Aleph, says the Bavach Rabbi. Mamash, it's so important. Just one good word. I was just at Mincha Marv, and one of the biggest Baal Sadakas in our generation was in our Minyan. And when he left, he saw my dad and I, and he, they, were, they were catching up, they were speaking, and then he quoted Gemara to my dad. He was speaking about business a little, what he do, this and that, right? then quoted Gemara. Talking about the the Beit Hamikdash, Mamish, unbelievable! I'm like Kabbal, here it is, so good, so good. Then we have a story from Reb Zusha, Manapoli, and um, you know what? For the sake of time, we'll just move on and we'll end with the Kedusha Slavi. Something so beautiful, Zocha to learn and receive from the Holy uh, Reb Sturman. This morning on the Kedusha Slevi, Parsha Bayera. And the Kedusha Slevi says like this in the Pasuk, this Parsha. I, I couldn't see the Kumash because I didn't, I didn't go through the Parsha yet. I require you to be my people and you will know that I am Hashem. Says in this week's Parsha. The new revelation, right, the merciful one, Hashem. The new revelation to Moshe here is that whereas other nations cannot grasp the concept of Hashem with their brains at all. The Jewish people have been granted this dimension of perception of Hashem. Through the Torah, through speaking words of Torah, we're able to, to, to we're granted of this perception of God, the tool which enables us to have such insight in the Torah, the commandments contained in it, which God has given to us as a gift. The greatest gift in the world, the Torah, Shabbos, the whole thing. This gift is spelled out in the next verse. In verse 8, and what does that verse say? And what is the gift which I swore to um, uh, uh, raise my hand to give to Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and I'll give it to you in your possession. I Hashem. Right? Right? The land. Oh, oh, here we go. I will bring 
you into the land which I swore to Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Uh, I'll give it to you in your possession. I missed the, the first part, the land. Um, Unbelievable stuff. And then the Kedush Levi ends up with saying, as a result of making proper use of these gifts, the Torah, we the Jewish people, have a better understanding of the Shekhinah. And when we're with each other, speak, we're speaking words of Torah, Mamash, uh, allow us to, to, to better understand um, Hashem, the world, what we're doing, where we're going. Bezrat Hashem, we should be Zocha. Questions, comments, please feel free. Bezrat Hashem, Chavar, Lechavar, Shabbos.